Coming up on Hands on iOS, I'm going to show you how to make it easier for people to know who you are when you send them a message. Hands on iOS is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? Well, LastPass can ensure that they are by making access and authentication seamless, whether they're working in the office or remote. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. So you meet somebody new or you meet an old friend and you give them your number. They put that number into their phone, they type in a name, they type in uh, some information about you maybe, they find an old photo of you on Facebook or Twitter or somewhere else and they stick that as your profile photo. And then when you call or when you text, that name and that uh, photo is what pops up for them. Well, what happens if maybe your name changes over time or the photo that they found was from years and years and years ago? That's something that has kind of always been uh, a complicated issue that got on my nerves. I wanted to be able to have the most updated, most up-to-date contact information for folks and to have a nice photo to go along with it so I could easily see their photo, see their name, and know who I was talking to immediately. Well, Apple wanted to make things a little bit easier for those folks who use uh, iOS 13, and so they introduced a feature that lets you set both your name and your contact photo that can then be shared with others. It's a really handy feature that makes it so you kind of have a little bit of control over what, you know, what foot you're putting forward. Of course, it's up to them whether they want to set that as the name and photo, but it is nice to have that information in case they have outdated information or you have something that you would rather have in that place. So let's talk about how we go about doing that. So first we launch the Messages app. Then in the top right corner, we tap the three dots. That is the More button. Then down at the bottom, you choose Edit Name and Photo. And then you select Choose Name and Photo. So here I can either go with the Memoji that's set up within your, your app. So you have your Memoji set up. I can choose just to have my initials. In this case, this is a, a test account, so uh, it happens to have the same initials as mine. Or I can hit that More button, and I can choose to take a photo. So I'll tap the Camera button, and I will turn the camera around, and then I'll take a wild photo. <laughs> and then move and scale it exactly as I want to. Oh yeah, let's zoom in on those wild eyes. We'll choose Use Photo. And then it gives you some options for colors. So if I want to add a filter to it, yeah, let's go with, I think Noir really hammers home how ridiculous this photo is. Then you just tap Done. From there, you tap Continue. And then it asks, Are you? is this the photo that you want to use? You can use this photo everywhere. That means that it'll update your Apple ID photo and your contact card as well. In this case, I'm going to choose not now because I don't want it to update those. I've already got a photo set for those settings. I just want it to be for messages. So I'll choose not now. And then if I wanted to, I could change my name. So as you can see, Meridian Stamen. Uh, these are Apple varieties uh, that I have used as first and last names for this test account. And then I can choose either to have that be the name that I give to other people, or if my last name changed or something like that, then I could make an update there. I'm gonna leave it alone. And then from here, you can see it says share automatically. When you have it set to contacts only, it's only going to be shared automatically to people you have in your contacts. That means that when you start talking to a new person who is also registered with iMessage, you will see a prompt letting you add that feature, letting you share both your name and photo with that person, but it won't do it automatically. The other option is to just choose always ask, and that means that regardless of whether it's someone you already talked to or it's a new person, you can decide if you want to share your name and photo with them. And I'll tap return and then I'll tap done. Now you're going to see that if I go into uh, this conversation with myself in this case, I can choose update contact and that is 
my photo, my photo on my phone and my name in the settings for my phone. They're popping up here. So I choose update contact and you can see right there, it updates my contacts in, or rather Meridian Stamen's contacts in their address book with that new name and photo. That way I've got their photo. But the second I tapped on this message, I sent my updated, or Meridian's rather, Meridian Stamen's updated contact information to Micah, my actual phone. So if I were to launch that on my phone, I would see that little banner up at the top that you just saw that says, would you like to update the contact? And it will do so just like that. Now, anytime I talk to a new person, that information I can choose to share with other people as well. So again, within the Messages app, it's just the three dots at the top. Choose edit name and photo. At any time, you can go in and make adjustments now to this. I can choose to turn off name and photo sharing. If it's not something that you want to keep on, then you can turn it off there. You can choose between sharing those contacts or sharing this feature automatically with your contacts or always asking, aka not sharing automatically, and make adjustments to your name. Again, if I want to, I can go in and take a photo. I can go into all photos, meaning goes into my photo library and I can pull one from there, or I can use any of the Animoji as a possible option. So maybe I'm feeling like a dino and I can adjust that. Uh, mm, mm, however I want. Mm. And then I can move and scale that image and choose that instead. And look, it even has some background color options. So now if I tap done, it will update this as my new contact photo. I'll tap done in the top right. And then again, when I, the next time I'm talking to a person, it'll say to that person with that little banner up at the top, hey, Meridian Stamen has updated their contact information. Do you want to update with this new set of photo and name? It's a super simple feature, but it gives you the ability to make sure that everybody has, hey, that new profile photo you took that you'd like everybody to be able to see on their phone anytime you send them a message, or if your name is updated or something like that. This is a cool feature that makes messaging within the iOS messaging app all the more easy and quick to know who you're talking to and to have other people know that they're talking to you. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Hands on iOS. I have been thrilled to be seeing the thoughts for topics, the questions that you've sent, all sorts of good stuff. And I am looking forward to the next episode of Hands on iOS as always. But until then, if you have questions, you can send those in. It's handsonios at twit.tv. Send your uh, text, your video, or your audio there, and I will be happy to listen to it and potentially answer it on a future episode of Hands on iOS. And hey, please do subscribe. It's twit.tv slash HOI, where we've got links to subscribe to the show in both video and audio formats in all the sorts of podcast player places that are available. So if you're on Spotify, that works. If you're a Google podcast user, that works too. We've got them all there. Super simple to do. And of course, youtube.com slash hands on iOS. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give that video a thumbs up and of course, ring the bell so you know when a new episode is available. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. Bye. Check out other shows here on Twit TV, including my show, Hands On Photography. On this show, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your camera as well as be a better post processor. So head on over to twit.tv hop and subscribe now.